City College graduate Eric Edwards collects African artifacts. He acquired most of his extensive collection through auctions and gifts he received from African tribes and chiefs. Edwards says African art is used for more than just aesthetic purposes. It's used to teach, guide, and sustain the African way of life. Hi, I'm Crystal Lowe. African art is more than just beautiful pictures and well-formed sculptures. In Africa, it's a deep part of the culture. It has a function as well as beauty. Each object is used for ritual, prayer, and educational purposes. I'm here in Brooklyn, New York with art collector Eric Edwards and art historian Kenneth Lindsner. Mr. Edwards is a City College alum. He has been gracious enough to share his extensive artifacts collection with us today. I've started collecting African art in the early 70s. What's been so important to me is, is not only the artifacts, but the research of the artifacts and how you do that is not only by visiting the, the various museums all over the world, but also collecting the books that support your evaluations and your research. This particular drum actually belonged to the king Dali Obolosa. From the research that I've done and from what the chiefs have told me, uh, it's one of the most significant, if not the most significant drum in all of Yoruba land in Nigeria. I can't understate the value of this particular item. My purpose here, is, Eric has the knowledge, Eric has the, uh, the provenance information. What I'm here to do is to provide a basis for organization of the collection and therefore eventually evaluation of the collection so that we can uh, propose this collection as a teaching tool. The Agungun is a very important costume in Nigerian culture. This particular costume is used by Yoruba priests. What initially got me interested in African art was the aesthetic beauty of the art itself, how it, the form and the three-dimensionality of it just grabs you and what was going through the artist's mind when that particular artisan created it. And those artisans were members of guilds for the most part within Africa, and it was passed down from father to son, from grandfather, and so forth. What we have from the Fon and Benin peoples, and this is dated back to circa 1890, and this was carried as a symbol of power. And this is a carving of a leopard, but what was more important, the leopard represented to many kingdoms and kings and people in authority, power. It was the ultimate symbol of power in Africa because it is said that when a leopard leaps, whether to or fro, he always hits his target the first time. What we look at as, as scholars and collectors and interpreters of this material is the surface and the treatment because so much information can come from how the piece was handled, how it was worshipped, or how it was used. In the Edwards collection, we have a wide variety showing all different surface conditions and all different patinas, which is a great teaching tool. But I realized that I'm at a point in my life with this collection where I have to pass this wonderful experience I've had in studying it and collecting it on to others. And I have to put this art in a place where it can be accessed and researched by others and enhanced. 
Each person relates to a different piece of the collection, a different item. It's very important for everyone to understand the meanings of these pieces and the stories that each individual piece has to tell. They are a window to the history and that will only make for a better world for all of us.